Hello everybody, it is Mr. Yankee G and today we have the 10211 Grand Emporium. It has 2,182 pieces and it's 16 plus, which I don't agree because I'm not 16 and I built it in a day. Now let's get it, um, let's get on to the set. Um, yeah, it's really nice. I just absolutely love this, but, um, it is a modular build, one of those buildings that came out in 2010, and you can see the box is Boom! It's like humongo! Humongo! But, you can see this bulletin board, but we are going to show it at the bottom. So we will move the other floors. Which is actually pretty heavy. Pretty heavy. Um, I'm just going to put that up. It's pretty heavy. Um. Yes, it is pretty heavy. Um, I would definitely not recommend uh, moving this around without, like, taking it apart like this. But let's get on to the street. You do have your first two minifigs. I have them stationed right here. You get this lady. She's pretty common. Hair's not as common. But she, they just had the normal smiley face. Little back printing, and they, she has shopping bags. So she's nice. And then there's this little dwarf kid, like a pirate torso. No back printing, really. Just a little... Shirt. So many figs are pretty simple in these sets, but I'm just gonna kind of give you the scan. It's very smooth because it has like these flat pieces, umbrellas, lanterns, like a lamp post, mailbox with mail in it. I'm gonna show you that. It does have spinning doors. You actually build the word shop here. Um. Get like a little waste basket. It's not even a garbage can. I kind of do wish they'd give you a garbage can instead of this. And then you get this like ice cream little stand. You have some ice cream there. You get some extra stuff in there. And uh, umbrellas. I'm just going to kind of spin it. And I do want to mention that each one of these little pillars here, there, there, and there, are each 48 pieces. So that's how like crazy this set big is. There's the hole so you can put in pegs. And then over here is a little door for light and another waste basket. So let's get on to the inside. It's very smooth on the outside and it's probably, I would say, better in the inside. You can see you have the revolving doors, a cash register, perfumes, a actual changing room. And let's start off with this mini fig. He's naked. Yep. Um, he's smiling. He has the black wavy hair. It's like jet black. It's got like a tie and stuff, but and they actually do give you an extra pair of pants. Oh, sorry, they do give you an extra pair of pants for him, which is nice. So it can be like the pants he's trying on or the pants that he was wearing. The cash register is really nice. I'm gonna pick that up, show it to you. Actually, get some gems in there and stuff, merchandise right there. Cash register which doesn't come with money. And it's nice. It's really nice. Um, this whole set just has so many little builds in it. It's crazy. Um, next is the only worker in the set. Like, the person who actually works there. She's a smiley face. Same torso as the attendant in the... As in the, um, airport. And the worker at Toys R Us. So she's got a lot of jobs. She's got, like, the, uh, pony, long ponytail... She's a really nice minifig, even though I have another one right here with just different hair, different pants. But that's the first four minifigs over there. You can see you got some hats, perfumes, the changing room, which is just two curtains, some purple, and I know that looks like it's dark blue, but it is purple, pants, and then... You can just kind of see there's mannequins, and I'll take them out, and the mannequins are absolutely awesome. Now, you might wonder, do they really have blank faces? Now, he does have a suit, so back printing. No, they don't have black faces. You just turn it around. So you could have this guy's normal minifig, which I probably will do. And then you get a woman who's got a very nice torso. Pretty sure this is the same torso as the lady, uh, as the um, governor's daughter in the Brickbeard's Bounty. Very nice, little back printing. And she comes on the stand like the other guy that just didn't come up for him. 
So that's pretty much the first floor. You can see, you get these absolutely awesome elevators, which I just love. And yep, that's pretty much the first floor. So we are going to put on the second floor now. So this is the second floor. Um, it has the flags on this floor. A little bit of balcony. Net. You can't put a minifig there. It's just mostly for design. You got flags, lots of windows. The sides are pretty bland. You actually do get a little window there. And, uh, yeah, um, it just looks so grand from the outside, even though it doesn't look like it's a lot going on, even though it is. Um, so let's show you the inside. It's the top two floors, don't have as much going on. This is kind of like the hardware store. You get some wine glasses. I love these little green. Sorry. Cylinder glasses. You get two gold plates. And it actually looks like a real emporium there, like a department store. The two elevators going up. And you get another elevator, which is really nice. So, second floor, not so much going on. Not as great as the first floor. This happens to be my least favorite floor. And I'll tell you why at the end. Now, here's the third floor. And it is pretty grand. I'll say that. Um, same outside, and you get another window on the edge, so you can see it goes all the way down, and you know, it looks pretty simple, but let me show you what it's like inside. Lots of windows again. Those windows take up a lot of pieces. You get this absolutely, positively awesome chandelier. I just love it. Only problem is, yep, see, it just fell like usual. I love the chandelier, but it, they, I kind of wish it gave you a better way to put it on. You can see you get a scooter that you build, two balls, which are kind of rare, um, and a bird's nest, which is really nice. Um, the camera hates me today. And you can see you get the elevator going up. Now, I like this floor more because it kind of has more things obviously going on, and you get the huge chandelier. Now, I really just love this layout, how they have it. Now, let's go onto the roof, which is a lot, let's say, more grand, than the, or a lot bigger, I'd say. Like, it has more going on than the roofs on the pet shop and townhouse. You can see you have this built-in board of lights. You have a skyline view. A glass view. It kind of bumps up there, which I like. It's almost like a railing. And then you see you have this window window washing thing with a glass cup in there. Not too much going on in the roof. It's pretty simple again. Um, let's go down on the floor level, or let's go back down. You can see this is the guy who cleans the roof. He's got like a farmer look going on. He's got a broom. He's got a um, construction helmet. That looks really simple. Um, I just want to now just turn the actual set around and just give you the um, full momentum. If you are a minifig, you were just walking down the street. This would be a huge building. I mean, look at it. It's like going through the streets of New York where I used to live. It's just huge. I mean, the spinning doors, everything is just so grand. They give you flowers. It has like this design. It just looks so great. If you're walking down the street, you're going to be like, oh my god, this is where I'm going to go shop. You know what I mean? Like, just so grand. I really love this set because of that momentum you get. I mean, same as if you were doing stop animations, it's great. It's a huge building to add to your city, and I just absolutely love it, and I'm sure other people will like it too. Now, I do want to say I do not like the set as much as the pet shop. And townhouse because it seems like they have much more stuff going on there even though it, the townhouse is on a renovation but I mean you do get this amazing bulletin board and you can see you have a person and a present and lights and it's just huge I mean like it might not seem that big to you but I mean this thing is 2,000 pieces and even if like you were me working without going to the bathroom non-stop for a day it takes a long time no matter how good of a builder you are but not too much left to say. I know I kind of zipped through this fast. It's just I didn't have enough memory. 
on my card left to do a very f good review like the pet shop but you know I just gave you a glimpse of it absolutely amazing set everything you've got everything going on um, I suppose I'll show you the box now it's too big to show you on here so I'm going to go over to where I have it set down that's all my other boxes I've reviewed lately and you can see this is the front it's humongo I mean like this is like literally the same size um, then on the back, you, it shows like everything, it shows the figures, and they're walking down the street, shopping, changing, oh my god, and right there, the guy is a stripper, he doesn't have his clothes on, and he's walking through the department store, kind of scary. You can see everything's going on, and down here you can see the street, and I am getting the fire brigade. But the green grocer is no longer sold, so that really stinks. But now they have the townhouse, so I'm okay with that. To town hall. But this has been a Mr. Yankee Chi review, and this is me signing off. Oh, and remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.